All right, everyone. Today, I wanted to share with you guys how you can actually save some gold buying your blue crystals because I noticed that the way the game works is when you actually go to the currency exchange and you go to your buy crystals, it's going to fill in a number automatically. And a lot of cases, I think people are buying their crystals for whatever this number is that the game fills in automatically without really understanding how the currency exchange works. And in a lot of cases, this is a really bad idea. You're actually going to be spending way more gold on your blue crystals than you need to. This is why it's important to understand how the currency exchange actually works. And I'm going to explain this here, and hopefully you guys will understand how, after learning this, you'll be able to actually save a decent chunk of gold on your blue crystals. Now, the number that the game actually fills in automatically is going to be whatever the lowest price that crystals are currently sitting for on the market. Now, what do I mean by crystals that are sitting on the market? Well, if you end up looking at the exchange, go to the left side of the screen and you've got that chunk of numbers in the top left and that chunk of numbers in the bottom left. Now, the chunk of numbers in the top left uh, where it says sale price gold 760 759 755 54 and 50 that's all crystals that are sitting on the market they're available ready to buy at this very second you don't have to do any waiting at all and so that's the the lowest that crystals are sitting on the market is going to be the number that the game automatically fills in when it comes to buy crystals because if you buy crystals at that 750 number you are going to get them instantaneously right away but importantly it's it's very important to know what the numbers are in the bottom left because notice that there's a pretty big difference there between the lowest number in the top left and the lowest number in the bottom left you can see that the numbers in the bottom left are 720 715 714 713 and 712 those are basically your buy orders those are people who are willing to wait a few seconds to a few minutes to however long it might be to actually get a little bit of a better deal on their blue crystals and not actually get them instantaneously. Now, the thing is, if you're one of those people who's willing to wait just a couple of seconds, there's also somebody out there on the other side of the scale who actually has orange crystals and who wants to sell, and they don't wanna wait for their crystals to sell. They wanna get their gold immediately. So they're gonna sell it to you, and it's not gonna take very long. Like, if you're that guy who's putting his order up for 1,200 crystals for 720 gold, that's going to get filled within a matter of 20 to 30 seconds. So that guy who ended up waiting 20 to 30 seconds to get his crystals for 720 gold instead of 750 gold, him waiting 30 seconds ended up saving him 30 gold per 100 blue crystals. So if he's buying 1,200 crystals, he just saved himself 300 to 400 gold simply by waiting literally a matter of seconds because this crystal exchange is moving very, very fast. This is, you know, the game is still very active. There's still, you know, 500,000 to a million people playing on Steam these things are, and in fact, I actually, what I'm using as an example here is an image because the currency exchange is moving so unbelievably quickly that I feel like that if I uh, didn't take a screenshot of it here, it would just confuse people even more because these numbers would be constantly, constantly changing. So I'll switch to the live version here in a second, and I'm going to give you guys an example. And what you really want to pay attention to is the difference between those two numbers. So the difference between the lowest number in the top left and the highest number in the... Um, bottom left because what you want to do is if you're willing to wait just a few seconds and i really mean just a matter of a few seconds you want to actually be one of the people who puts a buy order up uh for you know one gold higher than whatever the highest order is so you know just as an example with the screenshot i would put it a buy order for 721 gold and in that case i would actually end up saving you know 29 gold per 100 crystals and it would only take a matter of a few seconds to fill so me waiting just a few seconds is going to save me 30 gold per 100 crystals. So I'm going to switch to the live version here, and I'm going to demonstrate exactly how this is going to end up working here so that you guys can get um, a better idea. And I didn't want to use the live version while I did this demonstration because these numbers are changing so darn quickly that it would just be super confusing. But now you guys can actually see in reality how this is going to end up taking effect here. All right, so now you can see that the lowest that crystals are sitting on the market is 750 gold. But what we're going to do is we're going to put in an order for 723 gold because that's going to beat whatever the highest order is that somebody else is trying to buy crystals for. So we're going to go to 723 and let's just buy a thousand blue crystals. And we're going to add that right there. And you're going to see that that's my order right there. So I'm at the top of the line right here. But instead of getting my crystals for the sitting price of 750 gold, I'm going to see if I can wait just a few seconds for somebody to fill this order here and get them for 27 gold less 
per 100 crystals. And you can see that I got an update right there. I already got 100. Let's see if the rest of these actually come in. You can see somebody else just put in an order for 740. Completely unnecessary. There's really no reason to do that. If you're going to go up uh, and beat out the uh, highest price, might as well only go up by like one or two gold. There's no reason to overdo it too much and just essentially end up wasting your gold. So you can see, there it is. I just got all of my crystals right there for 723 gold each instead of paying the sitting price of 750. And a little bit of understanding about how the market actually works is going to end up saving you a decent chunk of gold buying your crystals. That didn't take very long. This wasn't edited. This was all in real time. It literally took 30 seconds right there to get those. And I ended up saving, you know, a couple hundred gold while doing it. So anyway, that's going to be about it. I just wanted to explain this and share this information with you guys so that hopefully the next time you end up buying your blue crystals, you can end up saving some gold. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, consider leaving a quick like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this in the future. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Take care, everyone. Have a good one. And until next time.